Hi everybody, I wanted to do a quick video to show you how to install the Raspberry Pi OS onto an SD card uh, ready to install in a uh, Raspberry Pi um, single board computer. So this is what you're going to need. You're going to need to get yourself a SD card. Uh, I would suggest a, a 32 gig, uh, get one that is fast as you, you can. So this one is a, a class three. Uh, its speed is up to 100 megabytes per second uh, read speed and 40 megabytes per second write speed. SD cards are typically slower than SSDs, so if you can get a, uh, the fastest SD card you can, that's going to be helpful. So you need to put this into the PC so that you can write the Raspberry Pi OS image to it. Some PCs have uh, micro SD card slots. If not, they have a, an SD card adapter, which you can put the SD card into and then insert that into your uh, PC if it has that. Or if not, what you can do is just get one of these USB um, adapters. So these things are quite cheap. Uh, all you do is slot the SD card into the adapter and then take that and then insert that into the USB slot. Uh, on your PC. So let's head over to the uh, laptop now and continue with writing the Raspberry Pi image ready to flash it to the SD card. Okay, so I'm back on my laptop. This is a Windows machine. So the second step uh, for writing the Raspberry Pi OS uh, to an SD card or micro SD card is to use the Raspberry Pi uh, Imager application. So you want to head over to raspberrypi.com. Uh, Once you're on the home screen, you want to click on to software, then just scroll down. It says download for Windows. There's also a download for Mac OS option. I'm on Windows, so we just click on uh, download for Windows for me. Once you've downloaded, click on the file that you've downloaded and then let that run and install. That'll just take a few seconds. Okay, so that's finished. So just click on finish, open Raspberry Pi Imager. So the next step is to choose the OS. So if you just left click on that, select Raspberry Pi OS 32 bit, left click on that. The next step would be to choose the storage device you're going to flash the OS to, which in our case is the micro SD card. But before you do that, I'd recommend clicking on the uh, settings icon. I think this is quite a useful option. What this does, it allows you to uh, set um, a number of settings that would normally be asked for when you first boot up the Pi. So this saves you doing that and you're doing it now while you're compiling the uh, the OS image. So you can enable here SSH. So if you're going to use your Raspberry Pi in a headless way, you need that to be enabled. So you just would uh, check that box. The next one is you can set the username and password uh, to access the Raspberry Pi or you can just leave it as default. Uh, or you could uh, set your um, method of access. So if you're going to use it via an Ethernet cable, you wouldn't need to do this, but you can uh, select wireless LAN if you want to connect this via Wi-Fi. So you would check that box, enter your SSID and password. You can also set your wireless LAN country, um, in my case, Great Britain. And then you can also do some local settings. So time zone for me is London and my keyboard layout is, uh, is Great Britain. So then we'll just click save on that. Next one is to click on your choose storage. So mine is automatically showing my 31.9 or 32 gigabyte micro SD card. Then just make sure when you do this that you're clicking on your micro SD card. You don't want to wipe another drive. So now just left click on that. And then the very last step is to select write. So we just click on that. Just going to have a little pop up to remind you that if there's any data on that SD card, you're now going to lose it. Uh, we assume there's nothing on there you want to lose. So just click on yes. And then that's going to prepare uh, the drive for writing. So it's going to format it and then it will write the drive.
Okay, so that's finished uh, flashing and verifying. Uh, you do get a um, pop-up because Windows doesn't recognize this. So just cancel that and close that out. Uh, all the pop-ups, just get rid of those. And you see the right successful message. You can now remove the SD card from the PC and pop that into uh, your Raspberry Pi. So first of all, connect your Raspberry Pi uh, up to your monitor with HDMI lead, if that's what you're gonna do. Connect a keyboard and mouse. Uh, put the SD card in and then power up uh, your Raspberry Pi. And that's it. Nice and simple. Just a few short steps uh, to get your Raspberry Pi OS flashed to a micro SD card and ready for your um, boot up for the first time of your Raspberry Pi. Hope that was helpful. If it was, please consider subscribing and maybe even hitting that notification bell so we see each other in the next video. Take care, everyone.